Deep in the heart of Texas, a titanic endeavor emerges. The Stratos Project, a $1 billion investment poised to become the world's largest carbon capture facility. Envision an industrial maze stretching over 65 acres, where advanced technology will soon suck half a million tons of CO2 yearly straight from the sky, the equivalent of taking 100,000 cars off the road. This isn't just a futuristic fantasy, with shovels already hitting the ground and a completion target set for 2025, Stratos stands at the forefront of our climate rescue mission. Yet, it's not without controversy. Financed by big names in oil, questions linger. Is this a genuine step towards a greener future or a strategic play to keep the fossil fuel industry in the game? Will Stratos be a carbon game changer, or is it an elaborate mask for environmental inaction? For over a century, the relentless march of industrial progress has pumped enormous volumes of carbon dioxide, CO2, into our atmosphere, dramatically increasing global temperatures. The Earth is trapped in a thickening blanket of CO2, resulting in melting glaciers, catastrophic wildfires, and increasingly violent storms. Our planet's distress signals are undeniable, and the clock is ticking on finding a solution. Imagine the magnitude of the challenge. Each year, human activities, primarily fueled by burning coal, oil, and gas, pump about 36 billion tons of CO2 into the air. An extraordinary reduction in CO2 emissions is required to reverse this trend, a task so immense it seems almost beyond reach. Picture this scenario. To prevent global temperatures from skyrocketing past dangerous limits, ideally keeping them below 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, experts say we need to remove vast quantities of CO2 from the air. By 2050, we're talking about capturing up to 10 billion tons annually, a staggering amount that doubles the yearly emissions of a country like the United States. This pressing challenge has led to the creation of Stratos, a groundbreaking project by Carbon Engineering supported by Occidental Petroleum. Stratos is set to pioneer the large-scale application of Direct Air Capture DAC, technology. The facility features a vast array of colossal fans, standing like sentinels in the desert, each methodically drawing in air and meticulously extracting carbon dioxide, molecule by molecule. However, Stratos' journey is shrouded in controversy. Its primary backers are the giants of an industry often accused of contributing to the environmental crisis it now seeks to alleviate. This irony is not lost on critics who question the motives behind the project. Is it a genuine effort to reverse the damage caused by fossil fuels? or a strategic move by oil companies to burnish their image and continue business as usual. This skepticism is grounded in the dual nature of Stratos's mission. Advocates of the project point to its innovative approach as a leap forward in environmental technology, a necessary step in reversing the ecological harm of previous generations. In contrast, opponents view it as a clever ruse, allowing the fossil fuel industry to continue its dominance under the pretense of environmental stewardship. The debate extends to the direct air capture technology itself. DAC, while a promising solution, requires substantial energy to operate, leading to questions about its sustainability and effectiveness in the long run. How can we ensure that capturing and storing carbon only consumes fewer resources than it saves? Moreover, the feasibility of storing captured carbon underground remains a topic of debate. While proponents argue that this method can securely lock away carbon for centuries, detractors worry about potential leaks and the environmental impact of such storage techniques. As construction progresses, the world watches with hope and skepticism. Can Stratos deliver on its promise of large-scale carbon capture? Will it pave the way for a new industry centered around carbon management? 
The project is an initiative by Occidental Petroleum and, financially backed by BlackRock, represents a bold step into the future of carbon capture technology. This facility is not just about mitigating emissions, but reversing them. Stratos aims to capture up to 500,000 tons of CO2 annually by extracting carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere. To put this into perspective, that's equivalent to the annual emissions of about 108,000 cars. Covering 65 acres in Ector County, Texas, the facility epitomizes cutting-edge technology in the fight against climate change. Central to its operations are massive air intake systems, enormous fans that pull in large volumes of air. This air is then directed through an advanced system of contactors, initiating a complex chemical process essential for carbon capture. Inside these contactors, a specialized chemical solution, primarily potassium hydroxide, awaits the incoming air. When air passes through this solution, a carefully orchestrated chemical reaction occurs. The potassium hydroxide reacts with the carbon dioxide in the air, forming a new compound, potassium carbonate. But extracting CO2 is just the initial phase. The real challenge lies in what comes next, transforming this captured CO2 into a form that can be stored safely for the long term. Here, Stratos utilizes another series of complex chemical reactions. The potassium carbonate, bearing the captured CO2, undergoes further processing, converting it into a stable form, carbonate salts. These carbonate salts are the key to long-term storage. They are stable, manageable, and suitable for transportation to storage sites. For storage, Stratos taps into the unique geological features of Ector County. The area is replete with suitable underground formations capable of securely storing these carbonate salts. The captured carbon is injected into these deep geological formations using advanced drilling and injection technologies. Once injected, the carbon is trapped in these rock formations, potentially safely sequestering away from the atmosphere for millennia. Ector County's strategic location was chosen not only for its geological suitability, but also for its proximity to major industrial CO2 emitters. This proximity is crucial for the project's aim to offer a centralized carbon management solution. Stratos is positioned to serve as a hub for the region's carbon capture needs, offering a viable path for industries to mitigate their carbon footprint. However, Stratos isn't just about environmental preservation, it's also a significant economic venture. The construction phase alone is expected to create over a thousand jobs, with an additional 75 positions once the facility becomes operational. This project demonstrates the potential for environmental initiatives to drive economic growth, marrying ecological responsibility with industrial progress. In a bold move underscoring the project's significance, BlackRock Inc., the world's largest money manager, has committed a staggering $550 million to the initiative. This investment indicates the growing confidence in direct air capture DAC, technology, which lies at the heart of the Stratos operation. While nascent, experts like the International Energy Agency project this technology to play a pivotal role in decarbonizing industries worldwide. Despite facing challenges such as construction delays and cost escalations, the project's budget was recently updated from $800 million to $1 billion to $1.3 billion, the commitment from financial giants remains unwavering. Interestingly, Berkshire Hathaway, led by Warren Buffett, has also indirectly supported Occidental's vision. By acquiring a significant share in the company, Berkshire Hathaway has placed a substantial bet on Stratos's success, reinforcing the project's credibility and potential impact. The Stratos project emerges as a beacon of hope in the direct air capture DAC, industry, a sector still in its early days but burdened with a colossal task drastically slashing the levels of carbon dioxide, CO2, choking our atmosphere and driving climate change. This daunting task sharply focuses on the challenges facing Stratos. If this facility could seize 500,000 tons of CO2 each year, it would barely make a dent, offsetting just a fraction of the world's emissions. 
This reality underscores the gap between our capabilities and the monumental task of meaningful climate action. As we conclude our exploration of the Stratos project, it's clear that this ambitious endeavor stands at the forefront of our fight against climate change. Its potential to revolutionize carbon capture technology offers hope in a rapidly warming world. What are your thoughts on Stratos' success and ability to overcome its immense challenges? Share your views in the comments below and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.